Okay, so all you're going to need for this um, is a selection of pens. Um, you'll need a light and a dark pink or red. You'll need a light and a dark green. So have a little practice. I've got a few greens here, which I'm going to try out as we go. Uh, a few sheets of paper, plain paper. Um, and we'll just practice the techniques before we go into the final piece. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to do leopard print in a dark and a light blue, just to put some more colour into this. So we've got the green for the leaves, the red and the pink for the flower. Of course, you can mix all this up a little bit. You can do yellow and orange for the flower as well might be quite nice um i'll let you have a little play so i have a lot of people asking me um about leopard print um it's featured quite a lot in my work um i love it as a texture it's a good filler um so basically you start off with a lighter color um and you can either you can either do random circles lots of different sizes like this or you can do scribbles like this again varied sizes the spacing this is just to show you roughly so see whichever one you decide you want to do so you can either do circles or you can do the scribbles um, <clears throat> and then go in with a darker colour and it doesn't matter which end, I don't know, you've obviously, you're all going to have these, probably these kind of felt tips, uh, so I will stick with those ends. Uh, so yeah, circle bits, so what you do with the circles, you can do, it's almost like little cashew shapes around them, a little hat, it's like they're cuddling the other little circles. So you keep going round with that, just keep going all the way around these little funny little blobby cashews going around like this or the other one so you can see that it's kind of coming together quite quickly there so this is a little so this is a nice sort of smooth round leopard then you've got your scratchy one your scribbly one which again it's the same idea just go around you almost like it's almost like they're hugging giving them a little cuddle there we go. You do a couple of little ones on their own again. Like that. So just scribbling on the outside in the same direction. This one almost looks a bit hairy, actually. There we go. So that's our first technique. Do a little close up of that and have a little practice. See how you get on. So here you can see I've done them in different colours as well. You can see how much fun you can have with these, playing around with the different colours as long as, again, playing with dark and light shades of the same colour. Have a little play, see how you get on, but it's, it's good fun. Okay, so next up I'm going to be showing you how to draw a simple but effective flower. Uh, so you obviously saw in the final print uh, this kind of shape flower, which I'm going to show you how to do. Um, so you need your light pink and your dark, whichever colours. Again, I've got quite a few here, you can have a little practice run with. I um, can't actually remember how all these come out, so just do it all now, that doesn't even work. There we go. So this one, so it's a nice bright pink, so we'll go for bright pink and... Nice red. There we go. Those two colours. Uh, again, like I said, you can have a little play around with the colours. You can go for a yellow and an orange if you'd rather. Um, so to start with, do um, I need to just do the rough shape here. So petals normally start going round, and bump, 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 and down. It's almost like little wings. And you can do the same again on the other side. Round, bump, 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 and 
upside down. And then you want to have just that one in the middle. So you can go one big one and a couple of little ones there. And you want to join them into the middle like that. And then just colour those shapes in. see a nice little rough shape of the flower it's almost like a lotus flower get your dark red and what you want to do is think about the shadows here so you're going up flick up flick up flick. just like that so you're getting that lovely effect in there and you want to do that again from the middle around the edge flick flick just keep doing that up to the top of the flower so the sun's coming down on the flower you want to think about the lighter colors at the top and the dark shadows in the flower so we keep doing like that how are you all getting on is it looking like this i'm sure it is i'm sure you're doing a grand job these beautiful flowers coming up everywhere there we go <clears throat> so now we need to do the stem. Got the light green first. I'm going to go for a grass green. Just go for a light and a dark. So I've got that one and that one I think I'm going to go for. And there we go. Right, so, so this you want just a little triangle. And then the stem. Sorry about that horrible noise. Um, and then you want to do a little shape like that and join and the same on the other side like that and like that join again and color them in And now we're going to go in with the shadow again remember the sun's coming down onto the flower so we want to stay on the underside of everything um so it's coming down there so you can go do this on the side of the stem there if it helps draw a sun put a little sun there and just think it's coming down so it's wherever the the sun is hitting that's where the light is going to be so there we go. Go into this here along this side and do the same technique as you did on the petals. So underneath, flick up like that. Like that. And do it on the other side, all the way up like that. And flick. Lovely. How's yours going? So these are the techniques I want you to practice before we go into the final piece. Um, and then, so the middle of the flower here, you could do some little dots in the centre. There we go. Just like that. Do as many as you want. Done. So that's the flower. You've got the animal print to practice. So I'm going to leave it here at this stage, leave you guys to practice these techniques. I want you to fill in whole pages with these animal prints. Um, it could make a lovely wrapping paper or you could do a selection of them, make a lovely big rainbow animal print. Um, just go wild uh, and then maybe fill a whole page of these flowers as well. And then I'm going to show you how to put all of these techniques together into one print. Have fun!